Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about D flip-flop to T flip-flop conversion in digital logic design course or our switching theory and logic design course and digital electronics course. In the previous videos, we are already discussed about seven flip-flop conversions if anybody wants, please refer that videos in my YouTube channel, Divela Srinivasarao. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about how to convert D flip-flop to T flip-flop. This is our main problem. To convert D flip-flop to T flip-flop, we have to follow five steps. The first step is identify the available flip-flop and required flip-flop from the given problem. So here, whatever the flip-flop we are given, that flip-flop is called as available flip-flop. Whatever the desired flip-flop that is given in the problem, that can be called as required flip-flop. So here, the available flip-flop is D flip-flop and the required flip-flop is T flip-flop. So this is the first step. Available flip-flop is D flip-flop. Required flip-flop is T flip-flop. Next, we can go for the second step. Construct the characteristic table of the required flip-flop. What is the required flip-flop? The required flip-flop is T flip-flop. For that one, we have to construct the characteristic table. Okay. In the characteristic table, there are three columns are present. The first column is external inputs of the required flip-flop. Here, the required flip-flop is a T. In the T flip-flop, the external input is T. And present state, present state can also be called as previous output that can be denoted by Q of T. Next one, next state. So next state can also be called as present output that can be denoted by Q of T plus 1. So these three columns represents the characteristic table of the required flip-flop that is a T flip-flop. This is the characteristic table. In the second step, we have to construct the characteristic table of the required flip-flop. In the characteristic table, there are three columns are present. The first one is input, input column. It contains input T. The second is column contains Q of T that is the previous state or present state or a previous output. The third column next state or a present input. Here to find out the next state or a present output that is the Q of T plus 1 we have to use these two columns as input. Okay. So, here T and Q of T can be considered as input columns for finding out the next state Q of T plus 1. So, N is equal to 2. That means two inputs are there, T and Q of T. With the two inputs, how many number of possible input combinations are there? Four possible input combinations are occurred. That four possible input combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So, by using these two input columns, we have to find out the Q of T plus 1 for each and every possible input combination. If T value 0, Q of T value 0, so the output Q of T plus 1 value is 0. That means if T value is 0, 
whatever the previous output or our present state that that value can be obtained as the next state or our present output here t value 0 q of t value 0 this this, this value can be obtained as the output next one here t value is 0 at that time whatever the previous output or our present state that value can be obtained as the next state next one if t value is 1 the complement of q of t can be obtained as the q of t plus 1 so 0 complement is 1 next t value is 1 the complement of q of t that is 1 complement that is 0 0 can be obtained as the q of t plus 1 okay so t value is 0 if t value is 0 then consider q of t value can be obtained as the q of t plus 1 if t value is 1 complement of q of t can be obtained as q of t plus 1 here t value 0 q of t value can be obtained as the present output or a next state if t value is 1 the complement of q of t can be obtained as the q of t plus 1 okay so this is the first three columns represents the characteristic table of required flip flop that is a t next third step Construct the excitation table of available flip flop. Here the available flip flop is a deep flip flop. For that one, we have to construct the excitation table. The last three columns, this column, this column, and this column represents the excitation table of required uh, available flip flop. That is the D. Okay. So. The last column contains a uh, D. So, excitation table of D flip flop. For finding out the excitation table of D flip flop, so Q of T column and Q of T plus 1 column can be considered as input columns. Okay. Both Q of T and Q of T plus 1 values can be considered as input columns for finding out D. So, the last three columns the last three columns represents the excitation table. Excitation table. So to find out the D value, we have to use Q of T value and Q of T plus 1 value. If Q of T value 0, Q of T plus 1 value 0, then D value is 0. Q of T value is 1, Q of T plus 1 value is 1 then d value is 1. Next, q of t value 0, q of t plus 1 value is 1, so then d value is 1. Next, q of t value 1, q of t plus 1 value is 0, then d value is 0. Okay, here, how we are getting d value? In the excitation table of d flip flop, Whatever the Q of T plus 1 values are there, the same values can be obtained as a D values. Here 0, here 0, here 1, here 1, here 1, here 1, here 0, here 0. Whatever the Q of T plus 1 values, the same values can be obtained as the D values. So, these are three columns, last three columns in the table represents the excitation table of available flip flop that is a T, D and the first three columns represents the characteristic table of required flip flop that is a T flip flop. Okay, so this is the characteristic table of T flip flop. These three columns represents the excitation table of D flip flop. Okay, now once we are constructing the characteristic table of required flip flop that is T and excitation table of available flip flop that is T, we have to find out the Boolean expression for D. Okay. Find out the Boolean expression. Find out the Boolean expression for D. 
to find out the boolean expression for d using carnap map which carnap map we have to use okay so here for this entire table these two columns represents the input columns so here two inputs are there t and q of t so that we have to use two variable carnap map so this is two variable carnap map in that two variable carnap map there are two inputs are there so first one is t and the second one is q of t t contains zero value or one value q of t contains either zero value or one value now how we are filling this carnap map by considering the d column in that d column we are considering only ones okay here one is there the corresponding input combination is t value 0 q of t value 1 so t value 0 q of t value 1 at that place we are placing 1 next here one is there the corresponding input combination is t value 1 and q of t value 0 t value 1 and q of t value 0 here we are placing 1 here two ones are there but two ones are not adjacent so that it is not possible to get the pair so each one can be considered as individual one okay so d is equal to so this one means 0 1 plus this one means 1 0 here 0 means t, t value 0 means t bar and 1 means q of t, q of t value 1 means that is q of t plus here 1 means that is a t value and 0 means q of t bar, q of t bar. Okay, so this is the expression we are getting. So d is equal to t bar into q of t plus t into q of t bar so this is the boolean expression we are getting from the fourth step now last step step 5 is construct the circuit diagram construct the circuit diagram for converting so d flip flop to t flip flop okay so, to construct the circuit diagram for converting D flip-flop to T flip-flop, first we have to consider the available flip-flop. Here the available flip-flop is D flip-flop. So that first we have to draw the block diagram of D flip-flop. So here this is a D and this, this is the output Q of T and this one is output Q of T bar. Now, what is the value of D? So, for input D, we are giving the inputs in the form of this one. Okay. So, T bar into Q of T plus T into Q of T bar. So, here I am taking input T. Okay. T bar into Q of T. So, here T bar means we are adding not gate. So, that is a T bar into Q of T. So here, this is Q of T, I am taking this one, so this one. So these two inputs can be sent to one and gate. So this is a T bar and this is a Q of T. Next one, second one is T. So this is a T, this is a T, next one is Q of T bar, so this is a Q of T bar, I am taking this one, so this is Q of T bar, so these two inputs can be sent to 1 and gate. So, whatever the output we are getting from these two and gates, 
can be sended to one R gate. So the output of R gate can be sended to D. Okay. So this is T bar and this one is Q of T bar. So this is Q of T bar. Okay. So this one is T bar into T bar into Q of T. T bar into Q of T. Okay. Next, this one is this is a T and this one is Q of T. So this is a T into Q of T. So this can be sent to R gate. Whatever the output of the R gate that can be sent to AND gate. And this is the clock symbol. This is the clock symbol. So this is the circuit diagram for converting. So D flip flop to T flip flop. So thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and uh, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts. Please uh, visit my YouTube, YouTube playlist called DLD, ORR, STLD, ORR, Digital Electronics. We will get all the videos of Digital Electronics or DLD or STLD course. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. So this is my YouTube channel. So develop Srinivas Rao. Thank you.